with these visions and ideas and things that I see and I know and how I am, I still, I still love you all for where you are and who you are and what you are. All of it. The good, the bad, the ugly, the crazy, the funny, the daring, the fearless, the fearing. Because I do remember fear. Don't have much left of that anymore. If, if anything. It might be just like a, an occasional blip that goes upon my radar. And I just kind of chuckle and go, oh, interesting. Um, and checking it and seeing why it's actually there. And I really got derailed. And I'm going to try and get right back on that. So... full circle knowing thy truth being true to thyself people pleasing was a pattern definitely of mine as I said before and there's a it's a it's a interesting fine line of being who I am now versus who I was before and taking a lot of those good qualities of that people pleaser type but using it not just to, to please others but to please myself at the same balanced equal measure hmm. uh, and it doesn't mean that uh, I'm a total hermit uh, most people might perceive me as one lately living out here in the mountains and not having much social interaction but that is my choice because that allowed me to view my full self and where I was to where I am now to where I want to go and applying it hmm? truly applying it and listening to others with an open heart to find confirmation for what I already knew and I am extremely grateful for all of you that I've connected with and that I will be connecting with because there's many 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 others that I still haven't met yet in that physical form or connected through the technology but seeing it as just that technology it's a tool and not getting uh, looped in uh, that, that uh, illusional lore because I don't want to create an illusion here you know, I, I heard something today that made a little trigger go off but a good trigger it was more like a light going on uh, of the illusion of social media the illusion of this technology the illusion of you know we can take pictures and put on videos and say our life is all this and it's great and it's grand and don't you want to be like me it reminds me of the stick song grand illusion you know check it out if you don't know it it's a really good song a lot of good lyrics in there um, and just being authentic yeah. and raising your vibration and keeping that vibration and not getting sucked in because these technologies will just they're 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 feeders they feed off of our energy especially if we don't use them wisely hmm? they're a great distraction I had a moment recently where I went to go have dinner at the house I'm staying at with the family <laughs> and uh, they were all on their phones all but one well one was occasionally because there was a phone call but it was just comical to sit there and just view this situation 
and the only glow I saw on their face was from the screens of their phones. And there was no conversation. And if there was words being spoken, they were talking to the machine. Not as in a conversation, but it's just like they felt like they were interacting with the tool. Well, they're really not. <clears throat> and I could see the suckage of energy being pushed into, pushed into, better words, pulled from their selves into the technology. And the technology machine was just nom, 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 eating it up. And then as soon as the dinner was over, they, they went right back to the, the technology and the, the phones. And I sat and I watched and I observed and I chuckled to myself. And I stood up and I said, this conversation is stifling. I can't. I can't take it anymore. And then my ego got in the way a little bit and said to one person who I've never met before, who was a stranger having dinner at the house, and uh, I, he was playing a Candy Crush kind of game. And I said, no offense, I'm going to be a spoiler and say you're never going to win. And it's just a distraction and a suckage of your, your time and energy. And the owner of the household and I had a small little broken conversation about it. And I, I feel as I walked away that the point was entirely missed to where I had to laugh at myself and say, you know, <clears throat> well, there's an old pattern of yours. You're trying to fix something. And these people aren't going to get it until they get it. They're not going to realize any of this. But I can plant a seed and just joyfully walk away. And, and nurture that seed by leading by example. And that's what it's all about. Leading by example. Being true. Being authentic. So what you see here, what you see on my, my comments and, and my, my Instagram posts, Facebook posts, that's me. That's all of me. And you'll see glimpses of my past thrown in there lately. Because they seem to be coming through this beautiful technology it's, uh, to be used wisely and I joyously embrace all these memories and all these new recalls of things that I do actually remember within me but I didn't mentally remember because I wasn't connecting between both hemispheres of the brain to my DNA to my heart to my pure existence and then I had someone ask me today because I put a post of the past where I was I think it was two years ago yeah we'll go two years ago and uh, it was very interesting as the the facts of they thought I was back in that area in the US and I had to chuckle and take the time to stop what I was doing, which was to come here, to this part of the land, uh, to, to answer to him that, no, I'm still, I'm still in Nepal. And uh, he's like, oh, because, you know, I thought because you said that, you know, you put the location of Beacon. I was like, yeah, but on one of the photos, it actually states that uh, that was from 2000, whatever. And... Uh, you know, they are like apologetic for saying that they misread it and now that they, you know, opened it up and saw for real. Um, it, that's, that's how we perceive things we, until we open them up or really just take off the blinders or take the moment to really take a look because we only perceive so much because our minds are working in that capacity right now. Where you could train and reprogram your mind to really absorb all that's coming in all of it even the stuff that I can't see behind me well I can because of this technology but in without the phone that I can see all around me and feel all around me and then process it you know they say our eyes only process one or two percent of what we actually see which is beautiful because once you start training your mind to really process it and take it in and uh, 
sieve it through, sift it through. One can really see the beauty and the magic and the wonder of this existence, excuse me, that's all around us. It's just phenomenal. And I'm going to quickly come to another full circle and a point here of, I had a thought of possibly sharing some of my dream work and talking about my dreams and uh, sharing those experiences with you because I am quite the lucid dreamer where I can remember my dreams and be conscious within my dreams which is sometimes a trip and a half I'll tell you what but if you're interested in seeing these videos make a comment saying that you would like to see these videos about my dreams and what I experience because it might resonate with you or it might trigger something within you and you might say I don't remember my dreams but I might be uh, uh, that one frequency or to say something or whatever that energy exchange will trigger something within your DNA so you can be conscious when you're dreaming soul traveling uh, thank you very much for all your likes subscribing all the new subscribers thank you very much all your comments I really do appreciate them all there's a time and it seems to be happening a lot with other uh, channels that uh, a lot of the comments aren't coming through and I'm not very technology related when it comes to these things nor do I want to waste my time uh, but if I don't respond or like or have any kind of interaction it doesn't mean I'm